Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over everything that you'll learn in a chemical engineering degree. Let's go. You know, there's probably never been a better time to study chemical engineering than right now. No matter what source you look at, chemical engineering is consistently in the top three when it comes to demand and pay. So the opportunity is huge. Speaking of ranking, I recently did a video where I ranked the top 10 most studied engineering disciplines by pay and demand. You can check that one out here. And you know, the role that chemical engineers play in the progression of society is just continuously expanding. So the education that chemical engineers receive today is just super diverse. Okay, but as a chemical engineering student, what kind of things will you actually be learning in your classes every day? That's, that's why you clicked on this video, right? Well, let's jump into that right now. I've broken it up into six categories and let's jump right in with category number one, math. You know, as you probably already know, math is really the backbone of any engineering degree. So we have to start here, right? Let's briefly go over each math topic and why it's important. Okay, so first up we have algebra. In algebra, you can learn how to isolate variables, solve for unknowns, manipulate equations, and graph functions. And you know, algebra is really probably one of the most consistently used tools for any engineering degree. So although it might be kind of simple, it's super important. Next up, we have trigonometry. In trigonometry, you're gonna learn all about angles and ratios within different shapes, with a heavy emphasis on triangles. And you will learn to use tools like the sine, cosine, and tangent of different angles to solve geometric problems. So next up we have calculus. And with chemical engineering, you're gonna to have to go through calculus one and two, and maybe three depending on what school you go to. So calculus is the branch of math that takes into account continuous change. So you're gonna learn about integrals, derivatives, and limits. And so these tools will allow you to solve problems where variables like position, velocity, and temperature change over time. So calculus is another really important one for any engineer because it's gonna keep showing up throughout the rest of your degree. So every engineer should have a very strong foundation in calculus. And last up, we have differential equations and linear algebra. So in these high level math courses, you're gonna learn how to predict and calculate how moving physical systems will behave through time. So you'll learn how to calculate and analyze things like springs, dampeners, wave behavior, mixing of chemicals, and the dissipation of heat. And then in linear algebra, you're gonna learn about vector spaces, linear transformations, and matrices. A lot, a lot of matrices in linear algebra. And it's important to note that some schools will combine differential equations and linear algebra into one course. That's how my school did it. In other schools, it'll be two different courses. Category number two, physics. So first up in this category, we have physics one. So in physics one, you're gonna learn all about Newton's laws of motion and how to apply them. And you'll learn about momentum, velocity, gravity, friction, and energy, and you'll also learn how to utilize trigonometry to determine the forces on a given object. So next up, we have Physics 2. In Physics 2, you're going to get a crash course into electricity and magnetism. Other topics include electrostatics, electric fields and potentials, magnetic fields, current flow, electric circuits, resistance, capacitance, inductance, electromagnetism, and optics. And physics too is one of those reasons that you're gonna need a real strong foundation in calculus, specifically calculus two. Next up, we have thermodynamics. In thermodynamics, you're gonna learn all about energy and how it moves and is utilized. You learn about energy cycles, engines, chemical phases, heat, work, entropy, enthalpy, efficiency, refrigeration cycles, combustion, and conservation of energy. Okay, so next up we have fluid mechanics. In this course, you're gonna learn all about how fluids move and behave and interact in different environments and situations. So topics include fluid kinematics, hydrostatics, boundary layers, laminar and turbulent flow, conservation of mass and momentum, and analysis of steady state systems. Okay, so lastly, in the physics category, we have heat transfer. So in this course, you're gonna learn all about how heat moves through different mediums and how to analyze it along the way. So topics include conduction, convection, radiation, heat exchangers, and finite element analysis. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anybody who you think might find it interesting. That kind of stuff really helps the channel grow. And if you're thinking about studying in engineering or any other STEM discipline, you have to check out my book. I wrote this book to be the step-by-step -step guide for anybody and everybody to have success in an engineering or any other STEM degree. Time management, how to develop discipline, how to develop a sustainable lifestyle and mindset, studying performance, exam performance, it's all in here. It's getting a lot of great reviews and helping out a ton of students. So if you're a new student or you're a current student and just struggling with your courses, I guarantee this book will help you. It's available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook. 
I'll put links in the description for everything and back to the video. Category number three, chemistry. Okay, so first up in this category, we have general chemistry one and two. In this two-part course, you're gonna learn all about the periodic table of elements, liquids, gases, solids, stoichiometry, bonding, intermolecular forces, acids, bases, chemical equation balancing, electrochemistry, and nuclear chemistry. So next up, we have organic chemistry. In this course, you're gonna dive deep into the structure, properties, composition, reactions, and preparation of carbon-containing compounds. Other topics include reactions of organic molecules, spectroscopic identification, and molecular geometry. Category number four, data analysis. Okay, so first up in this category, we have statistics. In statistics, you're gonna learn how to utilize programming to manipulate and extract useful information out of large amounts of data. Other topics include environmental problem solving, process yield, and process optimization. Also, you know, statistics can kind of get lost in the background with the intensity of the other courses you'll be taking. But I wanna let you know that it'll be one of the most utilized subjects in your career after graduation. So try not to let this one get stuck on the back burner. So last up in this category, we have numerical methods. In this course, you're gonna create computer programs which utilize mathematical techniques to solve pretty complex problems. And you know, it's this course that you'll probably start to feel pretty confident and powerful with computer programming. Other topics include root finding, interpolation, approximation of functions, integration, differential equations, direct and iterative methods in linear algebra, and curve fitting. Category number five, process management. So first up in this category, we have process design. In this course, you're gonna learn about everything that goes into creating a successful chemical process. So topics include process synthesis, process equipment, economic evaluation and optimization, recycling processes, and computer-aided process design and simulation. Next up, we have process control. And you know, this course really goes hand in hand with process design and will really build upon your ability to design and analyze chemical processes. So other topics include identification and feedback control of single input and single output processes, PID algorithm and controllers, stability analysis, control systems, and inventory control. So next up, we have chemical process safety. So in this course, you're gonna dive deep into the fundamentals of safety when designing and managing chemical processes. Topics include toxicology, industrial hygiene, fires and explosions, relief systems, hazard identification, and risk assessment. So last up in this category, we have probably one of the more challenging courses that you'll take, and that's mass transfer and separation. So this course is all about the transportation of mass in a chemical system. Other topics include steady state and transient material conservation, fixed laws, Buckingham Pi theorem, material balances, and phase equilibrium. You'll learn how to implement these principles to design industrial separation cascades and trains, like multi-component flash, binary and multi-component distillation, absorption, extraction, and membrane unit operations. Category number six, chemical engineering. So first up in this category, we have intro to chemical engineering. In this course, you're gonna get a solid introduction into a wide range of chemical engineering topics, including design and innovation, data acquisition, fluid flow, heat and mass transfer, biochemical engineering, chemical reaction kinetics, process control, and technical communication. So next up, we have chemical reaction engineering. In this class, you're gonna receive a crash course in chemical reactions and how to utilize and control them in your engineering. Other topics include reaction rate equations, adiabatic reactions, back mixed and plug flow reactors, heterogeneous reactions and catalysis, and reactor design. Next up, we have chemical engineering thermodynamics. So in this course, you're gonna dive much deeper into the study of thermodynamics, specifically through the lens of chemical engineering and practical industry application. Some of the other topics you'll cover in this course are physical and chemical equilibria, open and closed systems, property models of pure materials and mixtures, statistical mechanics, and multi-component systems. So next up, we have biochemical engineering. So this course is a real introduction to biochemical engineering and bioprocessing, specifically in relation to the medical, pharmaceutical, environmental, and biochemical industries. Other topics include cell biology, enzyme kinetics, bioseparations, bioprocessing, and bioreactors. So lastly, we have your senior capstone project. So this two semester course, you're gonna team up with a group of your fellow students to develop and dive into an engineering project of your own creation. So these projects will typically involve some experimentation and simulation, 
and typically try to accomplish one of the following goals. Addresses the needs of a company through a novel idea or innovation, contribute to a professor's research program, improve the capabilities of a teaching laboratory in your department, or advance the service or educational mission of your university. So there you have it. That was a quick summary of pretty much everything you'll learn in a chemical engineering degree. It's a fantastic education with a ton of opportunity right now. So keep in mind that your university's curriculum and course titles might not match up perfectly with what I went over, but as long as your school is ABET accredited, what you're actually going to learn should match up pretty close with what I went over in this video. I hope you found that informative and be sure to check back for more engineering tips, advice, experience, and information. But until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.